Alright guys, what's going on? It's Shram here and welcome back to another video I got for you guys today. Today I'm bringing you week 11 of my 49ers Connected Fantasy franchise. Last week we did win, but it was a close game. The score doesn't really show it, but I think we got a pick six, like right at the end. So the score was, was actually like 34 to 24, or 27 my bad. It was really just a one possession game. It was a super close game. John Ross came in clutch with a screen pass that he took to the house. But this, uh, this week, we have to play without our man Amari Cooper. I think we're going to have to do that for a couple of weeks. Let's check out the injury report, because I think there's a couple other people injured too. I might as well give an update on them. Amari Cooper is out for three weeks, and Derek Barnett is out for two more weeks. Amari Cooper really sucks. It sucks that he's out. <laughs> it really sucks, because, uh, you know, obviously he's our number one receiver. Probably leading our team in yards and touchdowns and all that good stuff. But maybe now Tyrell Williams can start doing something. Curtis Samuel is kind of cool to use, because he's super, super fast, and he has good catching. And then John Ross, of course, is super, super fast, too. Uh, he's going to be good on some screen passes or whatever I decided to do there. But uh, here's what the rest of the offense looks like. I have a decent amount of experience with some players, but I think I'm going to hold off until the end of the season to spend it, to be honest, because I just like spending it, you know, when, when players have, like, 20000 rather than, you know, Jordan Howard will probably end with, like, around 20000 I would say, maybe fifteen, but I don't want to spend it now because it's only i I'll just wait a little while. And then defensively, like, Jabril Peppers up here has a good amount of XP. But I'm not going to spend it yet. I'm just gonna. I'm still going to hold off on it. But anyway, uh, let's get into the game. It's actually currently my bye week, so we're not in week 11. We're going to be in week 12. Kind of forgot about that. And we have to take on the Seahawks, who are 3-7. and seven. I think we already beat them, so that's good to know. Oh my god, that guy's wide open. On the first play, he's going to throw a bomb to Cameron Meredith and just expose our cover, too. Oh, well, that's that's fun. Playing against Blake Bortles. Blake Bortles, I don't know, gives me like the most trouble out of any quarterback. I swear. That was a nice run by Doug Martin. I remember him being a problem for us, too, the first time we played this team. A oh, nice play by Luke Keekley, man. He is so good. He just sniffs everything out. tackle him oh my god he got popped and he fumbled and tj watt picks it up i'm not sure who forced that fumble but blake bortles got destroyed on that play that was a nice run from jordan howard to start off the day 11 yard rush of course i will take that okay curtis samuel picking up the first down i thought he was going to be able to blow by his man a little faster than that that's why I lobbed it, but that's okay. I don't know who was covering uh, who was covering Samuel, but he kept up with him perfectly. Okay, Jordan Howard with a very nice run here. I wish he was a bit faster because he could have shot that gap a little a little faster, you know, in the secondary and probably got a first down and some more yards, but that's okay. Again, eight yards. Very, very good. This is a pretty successful drive so far. I don't know if this is risky or not, but we're going to go with a draw on third and two. I hope it works, and they blitz. That is not going to work. Nope. All right. Marquette King is another beautiful punch down to the four yard line. A potential safety opportunity here. I'm not going to be able to make it because Blake Bortles is a god. I'm telling you, Blake Bortles is so good. I don't know why they make him so good in this game. <laughs> oh, that was a nice run by Doug Barton. Oh my god. I stumbled on his name for a second, but very nice run. That's wide open. Oh, that was super open. Jeez. A lot of time in the pocket for Bortles to find somebody. No, he's going to get that first down, isn't he? Oh my god, I had a contain up too. Blake Bortles is so good. There you go. Nice play, Xavier Rhodes. I don't know why Bo or Bortles threw that right there. That was clearly not open, but nice. I'll take it. I say I'll take it all the time. I, I got to stop doing that, I think. Oh, that was a bad cutback. I should have just kept going to the outside, but still, pretty nice run there from Jordan Howard. That was just so badly thrown. I didn't even pass lead that up. I just threw it, and he just overthrew it so badly. There was a false start on that second down play, and then the Seahawks only were able to get one yard, so that's why it's third and four. But anyway, it'd be really nice to get him off the field once again, but we're not going to be able to. Yes, we are? Yes, he dropped that. Okay. Nice. It looked like he caught that for a second, but then I wasn't sure. Okay, Hunter Henry comes up with the first down. Honestly, I thought he was going to drop that just because of how this game's going, but nice. <laughs> 
All right, screen pass for Jordan Howard looks beautiful. Did you see that block? By, I think it was number 50. <laughs> the person literally flipped over him, I think. Oh God, that was a, that was a crazy looking block. That's picked off. I didn't even see him there. I thought that was a full out blitz. I didn't see him just stop there. That was a good play by Tyran Matthew. Honestly, he's just so small, so I just didn't see him there. There we go. Nice play, TJ Watt. I'm surprised that wasn't a fumble, to be honest. TJ Watt laid out Blake Bortles, but I'll probably still convert this, this third down because it's just kind of what happens. Okay, it's a run play. Just tackle him. Tackle him before the first down marker. We were able to do that nice. Rameek Wilson gets over there. Okay, nice throw there to John Ross. Actually wasn't overthrown. That's good to see. Oh, that should be wide open. This could be a first down. It should be a first down, I mean. And I think it was. Yeah, okay. Because number 57 definitely didn't step up to make the tackle. It was a first down. He didn't step up to make the tackle um, before the first down marker is what I was getting out there. All right, John Ross, please catch this. What a catch down to the one yard line. I wish he could have gotten into the end zone, but that's fine. That's fine. Down to the one. That's awesome. There we go. Curtis Samuel. Too easy. Right over the middle for a touchdown. Oh, Blake Bortles. Blake. What? How'd you break that tackle? That was a hit stick. Okay. That was a screen. Oh my god. I wasn't even looking. I looked at the wrong side of the screen. That, okay, that was my bad. I didn't recognize it fast enough. Oh, fumble, fumble, no, it's going out of bounds. Crap, okay, nice nice sack from Vic Beasley. Five yard loss still, but I would have loved to recover that fumble. I think Blake Bortles was like the only Seahawk player over there. So if that stayed in bounds, I think we would have gotten it. All right, Blake Bortles is gonna try to run this, I think. Okay, on third and 16. Alright, whatever. We stopped them. 4th and 12, but they're definitely in field goal range, so I think there's like 10 mile an hour wins in their favor right now. Oh, nice play. Jordan Howard. Nice catch. He's been a very, very good receiving back, even though, like, we kind of have Devontae Booker to do that, but, I don't know, he's... Jordan Howard's done phenomenally there. That's picked off. I threw that way too late. I saw him open for a split second, and I threw it way too late. Oh, that was my fault, man. Please don't tell me that's a first down. Is that a first down? No, it's fourth and one. I'm taking a timeout. We have time. We definitely still have time. Ooh, the pancakes are there. I wish that safety could have gotten blocked. We would have gotten some more yards, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to call a timeout there. Jordan Howard picks up like 20-ish yards, I want to say. I'm just going to run this with Carson. He's, he should pick up a lot of yards here. Let me get out of bounds. Okay. Didn't have to call that timeout. Picked up 12 yards on the carry. Not bad at all. There's nowhere to go. There was nowhere to go there. I was trying to wait for something to develop, but just no chance. So, going into halftime, up 7-6. There we go. Nice run from Jordan Howard. Truck by this guy. What was that? Did you see the safety? He just glitched out of the way. I guess he was just scared to take on Jordan Howard head on or um, head to head. I'm not sure what happened. Well, another nice run here from Jordan Howard. Let's see if I can stiff arm this guy. Actually, he did, but did not pick up the first down. But he's having a very, very solid game. Very productive right now. Why not keep it on the ground for for second and one again? Looks like they're kind of giving me the run here. Hopefully, this works. It is gonna work. I keep hitting the wrong holes. I'm telling you, I'm messing up Jordan Howard today. That probably could have been a touchdown if I ran that better, but it's okay. He's still averaging 8.7 yards a carry. There we go. Samaj P. Ryan gets a nice run here. Trucks by the, the safety, but is tackled by the linebacker. That's fine. This drive has been very, very uh, heavily influenced by the run. Run it with Wentz. Okay. All right. Just just slide. Just slide. I'm not. I'm not taking the. Uh, I'm not taking the hit there. It's currently third and one, so I'm just going with a halfback dive, trying to pick up the first down. Hopefully we can. It looks like we are able to. Samaj P. Ryan picks it up. Nice job there. I didn't put Jordan Howard in for that because he was a little tired, so I just wanted to make sure I got it without fumbling or anything.
I don't think this toss is going to work unless that guy on the outside gets blocked, but let's see what happens. Okay, never mind. He just took a terrible angle at that, and Jordan Howard easily strolls into the end zone. Nice job. Oh, nice play by Luke Geekly again, man. He's just always there. I don't like using him anymore because he's just so good on his own. Blake Bortles runs the ball so much. He's not even that mobile of a quarterback, and he has 67 rushing yards. Actually... Didn't he almost have 100 yards against the uh, against the Bills, right? That's who they played uh, most recently, I think. So, never mind. I take that back, I guess. Let me get the sack. Let me get the sack. No way he completes that. Oh, my Lord. What a throw. That's... That's ridiculous. Oh, that blitz was picked up perfectly. What a throw there by Blake Bortles once again. Okay. He is 11 for 14, and one of those passes is a pick. So he's only really incompleted, like, two passes that were dropped or overthrown or something like that. Oh, it's a run by Doug Martin. Four touchdown. The blocks were just impeccable. And the Seahawks just stomp down the field on me and, and pick up a touchdown. Never mind. That was TJ Yeldon. That wasn't uh, Doug Martin. I misspoke earlier. But now they're going for two. I'm just going to run commit and hope this works. If it's a pass, then hopefully he gets sacked. I don't think they're going to pass it, though. They passed it. Oh, no. Uh, he got it. All right, Jordan Howard's wide open. He is so good at receiving. He's just so good in general. He's our MVP of this season, no doubt. Carson Wentz with a very nice run here, out of bounds, just to avoid the hit. I probably could have juked by and almost, you know, had that work, but I wasn't risking anything. Is that a first down? I really hope he got that. I'm actually not sure if he did. No, he didn't. Man, okay. That's okay. That was still like a five-yard five yard run or so, but wish he had the first down. It's already picked up the first down right there. I'll take it. <laughs> Jordan Howard is just... I should just not... I shouldn't stop giving him the ball, you know, right? Because he's so good. He just keeps picking up yardage. Is he tired, though? That's actually important. He is tired, so I'm not going to give it to him this play, but I got to keep doing this on this drive. I think this is the way I'm going to win the game. Carson Wentz is actually running the ball super well today, too. All right, I'll take it. Four rushes, 39 yards. I don't know. I'm just not... I'm not feeling confident in the pass today, so I just keep trying to run it, and it kind of works. Another run play, but Jordan Howard keeps this one alive twice by breaking two tackles. 15 carries, 117 yards, and a touchdown for the man. He is just way too good. All right, X is wide open, but I got sacked because Brian Robeson. Brian Robeson is really the guy that comes up with the sack there. He's still playing. All right. That's wide open. Just no one there. Nice hit, though, from Melifanu, I want to say. And I think it was Jamar Taylor, actually. But uh, Blake Bortles continues his amazing completion percentage. <laughs> Just wide open on the comebacks, man. I know it was man coverage, so comeback sort of worked on that. But still, I wish one of my guys could have jumped the route or something. Like, they've called that so many times this game. Wish my team caught on to that. He threw that? I was right there. If I would have turned around when I tried to, I would have picked that off, I think. This is a run play for sure. Leroy Reynolds coming back. You know, probably substituting for the tired Rameek Wilson, but he's able to make a play. Okay, he slid. He slid. Nice to see. I was going to pop him <laughs> if he didn't slide. But now they're going for a field goal. Nice. At least we were kind of able to stop him. I mean, it took him. It took a very long time to do that, but it still happened. Okay, this is perfect. Jordan Howard's going to the, to the house. This is a touchdown. What a play by Jordan Howard. Okay, let me make sure I get in the end zone. Okay. <laughs> Jordan Howard just shoots up that, that gap super, super quickly for a 65-yard touchdown. I think that's over 200 yards for him for the game. He just always finds somebody open. There's like literally always somebody in the flats or just something, just chilling. And he always throws it to him. That's why Blake Bortles doesn't have many incompletions because he just always checks it down. So we can't get pressure fast enough. Throw it over here. Let me pick that. I didn't get the interception? Oh, come on. Come on. Let me let me see that. Let me see that in every play. I swear I got it. 
Let's see, probably not. Oh, man. That's not an interception? That's not an interception. Was his foot not down when I caught it? I know you zoom in with this. His foot's down right there. That is... Oh, God. I think that's just really close to being an interception. I don't think I can challenge that. I don't think I want to. Should I challenge it? It's not... No, it's not worth it to challenge. Because I'm going to lose a timeout, and they're probably going to score anyway, and I want all my timeouts, so... I'm not going to challenge it. Pick that off! Yes! Obi Melifonwu! Oh my god, run this back. Juke out, Blake Bortles. Okay, that's good enough to me. Is that a touchdown? Good enough for me, is what I meant to say. That is a touchdown, Obi Melifonwu. Coming up in the clutch. Way to go. This He is having a crazy rookie year. That's four picks on the year, and that I think that's his second touchdown. I want to say at least number two. I feel like he had another one, but nice job, Melifonwu. Nice play by them. I mean, Leroy Reynolds. Nope, that was not Leroy Reynolds. Why did I say that? Xavier Rhodes able to come up with a tackle before the first down marker. At least that's kind of nice to see. Oh, come on. That was a hit stick. That was a hit stick, and he just pushed him. All right. Blake Bortles is too good, man. Even though he did throw two picks this game, which, you know, normally doesn't happen with him. I normally play him, and he runs all over the place, and he completes everything. I mean, he is pretty much completing everything, but he normally doesn't throw two picks. So I'm having a pretty lucky game against him, if I'm honest. Oh, there's another interception from Melifonwu. Let's go! I didn't expect that one to get picked. Okay, Melifonwu is amazing. He's going on the thumbnail, I think, too. And beautiful run play by Jordan Howard. I'm just going to try to run out the clock. I'm going to get him over 200 yards, though. He totally deserves it. And that run should pretty much do it for the game, because that is their last timeout. I'm just going to kneel the ball. I'm not going to go for stats and get another touchdown. I'm just going to play it smartly and just kneel it. Actually, no, no, because the, the, the computer is telling me not to kneel it, so I'm going to go for a passing touchdown with Carson Wentz to try to negate that second pick he threw. If I throw another interception, I'm just an idiot. There we go. think he got that touchdown. No, he didn't. What? Right, there we go. Hunter Henry catch that. Okay, thank you. <laughs> I got another touchdown. That one really doesn't matter. It's just trying to pad Carson Wentz's stats a little bit and just give Hunter Henry another touchdown. Actually, he's only had... That was his first one this game. I don't know why I said another, but whatever. Doesn't matter. We won. There we have it. There is the game. 38-24. to They got a garbage time touchdown right at the end of the game, and then uh, they did not get the, uh, the onside kick. So Blake Bortles' stats look a little bit better. 321 yards, one touchdown. Still had a horrible game because he had three interceptions. Very good completion percentage, though. Carson Wentz did not have a great game, under 200 yards, not a terrible completion percentage, I guess, two touchdowns isn't bad, but two picks is pretty, pretty bad, but that wasn't my fault, or that wasn't his fault, I should say, both interceptions were my fault, he did overthrow some players, though, but let me just go to our stats, check this out, Jordan Howard, monumental game, 212 yards, two touchdowns, he was just on fire, once I realized how well he was doing, I just kept giving him the ball, that's why Carson Wentz didn't have that many yards, even um, Carson Wentz ran the ball pretty well, and so did P. Ryan. He had six yards a carry, so our lowest rusher had 5.6 a carry. Uh, Jordan Howard led our game in receiving, too, so he was our MVP of the game for sure. Hunter Henry had a touchdown, as did Curtis Samuel. John Ross got off to a pretty hot start, but then simmered down a little bit. Defensively, Luke Keekley had 12 total tackles. He also had four tackles for loss, and then there were two from Vic Beasley. Two sacks from TJ Watt, one and a half from Vic Beasley, and then a half from Rameek Wilson. And then Obi Melifonwu, our defensive MVP of this game, had two picks, one for a touchdown, and of course Xavier Rhodes got another interception. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. We are continuing a bit of a win spree here. I think this is, what, three games in a row that we've won? We're nearing in on the end of this season, which is nice to see. I think we're on week 13 after I sim. Let me just see, Let me just see quickly. I think it's going to be week 13. Yeah, so after I sim this week, it will be week 13. We are 9-2. Sitting very comfortably atop of the division. I think we almost we almost clinched a, um, a playoff berth at this point. We didn't, I don't think, but we're getting there. Anyway, though, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I will talk to you guys soon. Bye.